Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I do appreciate that I did hear the, uh, the member talk about the importance of safeguarding resources during this COVID time. And I would uh, ask on a bit of an uh, extended or expanded note that uh, that include uh, the safe, ethical oil, environmentally friendly oil that comes from Alberta. However, more specifically to the debate at hand, um, there's been massive disruptions in supply chains that we've seen because of, of COVID-19, which has put a, a specific stress on, 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 on many corporate interests across our country and certainly that's uh, that's what largely the scope of this report and its relevance to to uh, the 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 current pandemic is to ensure that there are safeguards so that uh, the dis disruptions because of the pandemic that have taken place that they don't put Canadian business and industry at risk I'm wondering if he could comment further on that la, la, de, de, de. the honorable member thank you mr. speaker thank you to my colleague from uh, Battle River Crowfoot well, I think there's maybe a debate that we could have around uh, Alberta oil, but I do want to talk about something that kind of traumatized me a bit. Now, there was an airplane that left from China that was supposed to bring PPE and medical equipment that we urgently needed in hospitals in Quebec and across Canada. And that um, plane never landed because of the U.S. Uh, intervening. I don't know how much money it cost us to get that plane to eventually come here, but I think that shows just how vulnerable we are. I don't know how much it cost the federal government to uh, get all of these vaccines because we weren't able to produce our own vaccines here in Canada. You know, having uh, nationalis uh, economic nationalism means not depending on foreign purchases, foreign economies, uh, foreign countries who can then uh, bid off uh, their equipment and can charge us four or five times the price of P PPE. We need to be able to have a strong economy that can produce our own material. That's what COVID has shown, and that's what the Investment Canada Act can show as well. Whether it's Air Transit, Air Canada, or other companies, you know, they're almost going to go bankrupt. Because there were um, foreign companies that were willing to pay a bit more money. And, you know, damn, you know, like we might have lost out on a bid like that.